Hi, welcome everybody, it's Mike Newton here at Latham Golf Academy. I'm going to do a shaft test in this video and I'm going to look at uh, two iron shafts here in steel, one in a very heavy weight or the heaviest weight shaft I can get my hands on against something that's very, very light. And I'm going to see, uh, using HMT GC2 here, uh, maybe look at some differences of numbers of what different shafts can do and more so probably weight. Now see as we change weight of the shaft it also changes the characteristics and the profile of the shaft. So for instance I've got uh, in the heavyweight here I've got Dynamic Gold obviously been out many many years here. I've got this in an S300 which is uh, an inch longer so it's a little bit more to my spec and I'm going to hit all of these shots in the with a Tailmay P790 iron two degrees upright so it's more my spec so I'm going to keep the same head but I'm going to change the shafts over here so Dynamic Gold is weighing in around 132 grams okay so it's one of the heaviest shafts on the market low launch low spin tip stiff sort of golf shaft here so more obviously for a stronger player then I'm going to switch it over and, and put in the NS Pro 840 shaft, so very lightweight shaft. Again, this is coming in stiff, it's an inch longer, and this is weighing in at around 90 grams. Okay, so there's a good 40, 42 gram difference here between these two shafts. This is very much promoting a high launch, high spin, and it's tip soft. Okay, so it's one end of the scale to the other here, but it would be interesting to see how that changes spin numbers of the golf ball, and maybe sort of time possibly what to, you, you guys might be looking for out there in terms of what you're trying to achieve ball flight wise. But I'm going to give you a little bit of feedback of feel as well, because this is where I think the biggest thing is going to be is, is the feel of the actual golf club, how you feel the weight of the head from one shaft to the other, or, or, or not feeling the weight of the head as, as maybe as you go into a, a more of a heavier weight shaft. But I'll give you a little bit of feedback on feel here and obviously we'll look at some numbers and see if there's any differences in performance. Okay guys, so I've got as I said, the P790 in my hands here, two degrees up right. I'm going to start off with the Nippon NS Pro 840. So as I say, this is a 90 gram shaft coming here, it's in a stiff flex and I think straight away first instinct as I pick up this, I'm also used to a shaft a little bit heavier than this, it feels really light, especially under the handle area, this top section of the shaft it feels very, very light. And what that makes me feel is it makes the head feel heavier. Okay, because those shafts are a lot lighter, I feel that weight of the head at the end of the club a lot more. So this is where through fittings I find, um, as I interchange shafts for customers here through a fitting process, I'll sort of find, you know, I'll ask, I'll, I'm obviously asking the, um, the customer a lot of questions here as how that feels. And it's amazing how many times people feel, pick up a lightweight shaft and go, oh, it's heavier. You know, and that's generally because they're feeling a lot of the weight more in their head, yet it's actually lighter. So it's quite an interesting way of how people feel. And other people feel, pick it up and say, God, yeah, it's lighter. So people feel it in different ways here. So we're going to get this first one hit. We're 178 yards out from the flag here. Okay, but definitely feel light under the handle, a lot more weight in the head here. Okay, yeah, that's a high ball flight. So straight away I'm seeing that going up and it looks to me, I mean, it's a little bit windy out here and obviously the GC2 doesn't uh, pick up the wind here so it's closed data which is great for what we're doing. But visually there is the, the wind I can just see out there. I can see that ball sort of float and balloon a little bit and it's sort of like stalling through the air. Okay, yeah, definitely a high ball flight there. It looks to really, really sort of climb in there. Um, that's coming out 168 there, spinning at 7,100. So we're seeing a slightly higher spin number there. Um, or I'm guessing I'm gonna say, I'm gonna predict I'm gonna see a lower spin with the dynamic gold in there. So quite a high spin there for me. Now, I just feel like I lose a little bit of control here. I, yeah, I am feeling the head, but under the handle it just feels really light. And I'm just losing my timing here. I'm not sort of getting a control. I mean, that spun at six, 7,600. I mean, it wasn't the greatest, right? A little bit low, but it's just gone sort of high and just drifted off there. I missed the green. It just doesn't feel like I've got to control that. It doesn't feel stable enough. Obviously, I've got quite a bit of speed. You know, I'm sort of mid-90s uh, with my 7 iron sort of speed here. Um, sort of 92 to 95 really in my speed, but it just feels like I haven't got a control of, 
of the club as it comes into that impact. So just don't feel comfortable like I can control it in terms of trying to hit a tight target. Okay, right, so I'm just going to flick over. I'm going to put the diamond gold in, the, in this same head and then we'll hit some shots with that. Okay, right, so there's the dynamic, uh, dynamic gold S300. Again, one inch longer. Uh, straight away there, I feel loads of weight under this handle, complete opposite to that uh, that nip on there. So a lot more weight under the handle, losing the, the weight of, or the feel of the weight in the head more, um, or I should say less than what I'm seeing in that nip on here. So again, same distance from the green here. So we're gonna get this first one, first one hit. Definitely feel more weight in this club here. It's a big difference. As I say, it's about 40, 42 grams which I think if you just hold that in your hand, it's, it's nothing. But down a shaft of a golf club as you're swinging it, it's massive. It really is massive. It stands out huge. Okay, let's give this first one a hit. Wow, yeah, it's just a very different flight. I mean, I can see that go out more that way. It's not peaking, stalling as much. That's a good hit. Struck that pretty well. 178 carry there. Interested to see what the spin is. Yeah, 6,000 spin there. So. It's uh, it's a little bit less there than the nip on. Okay, yeah, I get it. It's definitely coming out. It's a different shot pattern here. I'm just starting to hit this more sort of left side of the green here, which is quite interesting. So, uh, 176 carry spinning at 58. So, I've seen that spin number dropping in here, but the feel of it is massively different to the other one. I just feel like I've got such uh, a better control. I can feel where the head is in relation to the handle end of the golf club. That bit of weight there obviously sits in better with my speed. So that's, this is why it feels obviously a lot more comfortable to me. And we'll start to see a, a dispersion getting quite a bit tighter here straight away. <sighs> feels great. Yeah, definitely striking that more solid there. Hit that one really well. Get a nice shot there. That looked to be stopping pretty quick actually. I struck that great, so the spin number's probably going to go for a little bit there. Yeah, 6,400. Snuck up a little bit. Purely on the strike. So we know strike's going to change these spin numbers um, a little bit, but we've got to look at this as average. Now, I want to hit three with each shaft here, so it's not a lot. Obviously, if you're going to work or go into a fitting process here, you're going to obviously hit a lot more shots here to really get a bigger sort of average. But I think straight away there, even though with three shots, you're gonna see some differences here. So let's go and check some numbers out, a little bit more detail and have a little look at it. Okay, let's look at some numbers here. So Nippon against Dynamic Girls, some big differences here. So we're gonna look at club head speed first. So naturally, very lightweight shaft. We're seeing a little bit more speed there against the Dynamic Gold. So as I say, 40, 42 grams difference of weight here. It's just probably changed that speed a little bit. And, probably, and obviously, I definitely felt that heavier feel of the dynamic gold. Okay, but look what happens to ball speed. So 122 to 126, really interesting here. So obviously, it goes to show that dynamic gold felt more comfortable to me. The balance of the club, I'm more used to it for my speed. I found strike pattern a lot better. So that's where my average of my ball speed has actually increased. So even though my club head speed dropped sort of three mile an hour, Ball speeds increase there, sort of um, just over three mile an hour increase. So see a big six mile an hour difference there of, of dropping off ball, uh, club head speed to ball speed. Again, so really interesting. Obviously, my smash goes up there. Launch just come out a little bit lower with Dynamic Gold, as we'd expect. It's a low launching shaft. Spin number here, so 6.8 on average against 6.1 uh, with the Dynamic Gold. So good 700 rev sort of difference there uh, between those shafts. As I said, if you keep on delving in with sort of numbers there, uh, sorry, more shots hit, you maybe see a bigger difference there, possibly over more shots sort of hit. So slightly lower peak height there. Um, descent angle, not that dissimilar. Distance, eight yards more um, distance-wise there, purely because of that ball speed there uh, going up and obviously spin number just dropping off a little bit, then equates to more yards at the other end of the scale. But coming in still with some control, it's not like a horrendously low spin there. You know, it's coming in at a good sort of descent angle with a bit of spin. It's still got a bit of control and a bit of stop, but I'm obviously liking that. Okay, I'm liking that. And that's uh, a nice tidy number at the end as well. 
Right, okay guys, so there we go. Two very, very different shafts, one end of the scale at the other. So obviously the Nippon is very, it's sort of in the top graph of the shaft chart here. Very high launch, very uh, high spin, very tip soft. And then uh, down it goes sort of right at the bottom end, low launch, low spin, and obviously tip stiff. So the field difference between these two shafts was huge. And as we would expect, you know, it's one end of the scale to the other here. The field to me was absolutely massive. Now, obviously, I'm more suited, as mentioned, into sort of heavy weight, which is where my strike pattern was better. The numbers then sort of change. But having said that, everybody, you know, not everybody's my sort of speed. So you guys out there may be a bit slower. And this is where, obviously, the Nippon might sit in. But you've got to imagine there's loads of options in between these two shafts. This is one end of the scale to the other. There's loads of options in between, you know, difference of weights, flights, launches, spins. And this is obviously the whole... Thing you've got to go through is the custom fit it's so key you know with launch monitor technology nowadays we can track these numbers like what we're seeing on on the screen here you know you've got a chance to get in your hands feel it shaft straight out another shaft in feel that oh wow that's heavy oh that's light oh that feels soft oh i don't like that this is the whole way the only way you can do it you can't buy online blind they sort of offer up custom fit it's not custom fit you know you've got to get it in your mitts you've got to get it hit you've got to get some measurements let's see some strike we know strike's really important you know and that's the only way to sort of do it so interesting one there of how shafts can make a difference of performance but a big difference of feel and then and that then influences my performance so this is the key of getting a good shaft in the golf club here is, is absolute key all right, guys, thanks very much for watching. It's an interesting video there. Do comment down below if you've got any thoughts on shafts there or what you're playing. Love to hear what your guys are up to out there. You know, interact with me. Comment down below. Um, social media platforms are in my link below, so give us a follow on there. I start to sort of see a little bit more of my day-to-day -day routines here at Lytham Golf Academy through coaching, through fitting. Let's, let's keep in touch. Hit that subscribe button, and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.